up this morning by the break of day. Woke up this morning. I hugged the pillow where my baby used to lay. The girl I love. The girl I love Give me the blue my version of Mississippi John Hurt's Cow Hooking Blues. And we're in standard tuning and playing out of the key of E. It's a very, well, hypnotic song once you have that hook in your fingers and that's not too uh, difficult, I think. You'll be, uh, you will have a lot of fun. Anyway, I tapped out whatever I played and if you're interested in the temperature, please do open the video description. So let's start with that signature riff. It has an alternating bass between the 6th and the 4th string and I accent the 1st. And on the 2nd beat I'm hammering on while playing the bass. So it's, it's not like that, but just one move and the open E string. So. And in the third beat I'm adding the second uh, fret of the second string with my pinky E6 there. hit more than one string. Since you're fretting the chord it doesn't matter. It, it always sounds good I mean. Uh, 
man, you can, in uh, the version I uh, heard by Mississippi John Hurt, he recorded it a couple times. He plays this seven times. <laughs> so you can repeat that at will. And you will also notice that in the tap I wrote, play the signature riff three times or two times, but I didn't uh, do that all every time. Uh, it's, it's pure improvisation. And you can sometimes play it two times or three times or four times, whatever you want. Uh, <clears throat> always sounds good. And in the third measure, I'm going to a partial E chord. So D7 moved up to the fourth fret, but I'm leaving the second string open. And the alternating bass is between the sixth string and the third string. Fourth measure. And of course, you, you can do variations of this. And I don't think uh, Mississippi John Hurt regarded, regarded it as a set piece, it just the signature lick was there and uh, that was the most important thing. So, and after that... We're going back to our signature riff. And then a partial A chord, just fretting the second string, fifth fret. 6th fret on the 3rd string and the 5th, 7th fret, sorry, on the 5th string. And the alternating bass is between the 5th and the 3rd string. And then in the 7th measure, I'm going to play with the pinky and the index finger and I will will become also a signature lick, I guess. One more time, that sixth and seventh bar. And the open uh, second string, well, you can play it uh, yes or no. It's, uh, it's not important. And in the eighth measure, we're going back. Then we're going to resolve in a B7. Alternating bass goes 5, 4, sorry, 5, 4, 6, 4. I kind of simplified the accompaniment because Mississippi John Hurt doesn't play the alternating bass throughout the song. Sometimes it's just a couple single string runs. Uh, <clears throat> but this, well, keeps it simple. And there is a transcription in uh, a John Miller book about uh, Mississippi John Hurt. And the transcription is five pages. Oh my God, every little nuance, every little variation he tapped out and that simple Simply, well, very difficult to learn that way. I think it's best you learn the basic arrangement and simply add whatever comes up in your mind. Make it your own. So, after done that, we're going to play a verse. Again, with a signature lick. Sing it softly. Woke up this morning, just about the break of day. Woke up this morning, I 
Now you see in the tablature, um, and in the <clears throat> performance, for the last sentence I took more time, so it becomes more relaxed. I wrote it out how um, he played the first verse, and then it's in measure 18, 19 and 20, well that last uh, sentence I mean. I have the pillow where my baby used to lay. So it's condensed over two bars and a beat. While I pretty much in the whole song, I always start to sing on the second beat. I heard the pillow where my baby used to lay. Like that. And it gives you a little bit more time to stretch the words and to put some more feeling in it. Anyway, that's the way I did it. You don't have to do it like that, of course. So, for the accompaniment, it's very simple. It's again... Sorry. That's measures 12, 13 and 14. So the first measure is our signature riff. And then we go again to the fourth fret with the alternating bass between 6 and 3. And now we're leaving uh, the first ring open, so we're lifting our pinky. Keep your third finger on the fourth fret, third string, and add your index to the second fret, second string. seen that before and you notice that in the second line the guitar finishes finishes the line always even there's a verse where there's no third line okay and then in the 18th measure we go back to our signature lick and the B7 that's exactly the same as in the in the introduction. Now, uh, I don't think he, he does a solo or maybe the, the verse accompaniment, but this kind of move he did while singing a verse and I turned it into a solo. I didn't use it while singing a verse. So what you do is, again, your, your E, partial E7, moved up to the 12th fret and you add the index to the 9th fret. Alright. And you see that the alternating bass in the 21st measure is... is and in the next measure, well, it goes like that. Okay, one more time. Back to our signature. I did some variations uh, there, and those are purely uh, right hand variations. So in measure 24, I all very often play a double bass like this. So, and watch my right hand. So the second beat has temp temp, and the third beat has middle. And I did a variation, I think. I simply did that the 24th measure twice. So I dropped that or replaced that. Uh, 
And then for the B7, I also did a couple variations. I wrote out one in bar 27, 28. You can hear this. Again, the second measure is temp temp. And the third measure, or the second measure, second beat I meant. And the third beat is a little rest and the open uh, second string. One more time. And I did variations. Uh, so the last two beats in measure 28 are So, that's it, I guess, for uh, Cow Hooking Blues. So there's not much to it, to that song. It's just uh, getting the signature riff in your fingers and uh, that eight uh, stuff there. Okay, have fun with it.